Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Paris Fashion Week vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So we are kicking off day four in Paris and today I have the Gaucher show. I went last season and it was my favorite show of the season. Literally everything that came down the runway I wanted to wear. There was something for everyone. Um, so I'm very excited for the show this season. I also have a seat so I don't have to worry about like rushing and being late and having standing and trying to find a seat. Um, this morning I'm still here at Hotel Alfred Saumier. It is such a beautiful hotel, very homey yet very classic Parisian. Uh, the service here is exquisite. I went down for breakfast this morning um, and enjoyed. My, breakfast here is my favorite meal of the day. I hardly ever eat breakfast <laughs> when I'm in the U.S. But here at this hotel the breakfast is so good. Um, and I just sat down there and I actually met up with Michael, um, Karen's husband, Karen Britchick. And she was getting ready for a show, uh, but I saw him down at breakfast. We're all standing at, at the same hotel. So we just had a nice fun chat this morning. Um, so I got myself together. I want to give you guys the rundown. I am about to head to the show and try and get some shots with my photographer. But I have to show you my outfit because I love it. By the way, I just posted last night my prepping for Paris video and y'all showed up. I think that's my most watched video in the first 24 hours ever and I could not believe it. I posted it maybe like, it had to be midnight, one o'clock in the morning here in Paris and it did so well. So maybe what I will do is start posting videos like later in the day, like after dinner um, on Wednesdays. But let me show you guys my look. We're gonna put on a fragrance, pick a sunglass, and we're gonna get out of here. Okay, so my face, I just did my everyday makeup routine. I have the Christian Dior uh, Mitza palette on my um, eyes. I'll link it down below. The lip is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Riri. And y'all about to sell this out. So if you haven't gotten it yet, get it while it's still available. I've linked it down below. They have it on the Fenty Beauty website. Click the link in my description box. It'll take you straight there. You don't have to search. The earrings are new in from Saint Laurent. These are the Comet earrings. They come in like three different colors. I love the gold. Uh, this, let me flip you guys over so you can see the whole fit. Okay, so much better. This long uh, sweater shirt is from a piece of white and it's a rib knit, kind of asymmetrical off the shoulder sweater top and it has this curve here like you could wear it by itself but it's very risque and it's cold in Paris um so I got this from Bergdorf when I was shopping in New York underneath I just have a beautiful satin midi skirt this is old from and other stories the boots are my Vetma camo boots 
which you would have seen in my prepping for Paris video. You see how far up these go? <laughs> they are so tall. Um, yeah, that is the look. I think for the bag, we're gonna go with this Jacquemusse because it has a little brown and the shoes have a little brown. And then for the sunglasses, we're gonna do these Givenchy. They're brown, they have a little gold. Super easy look. So that is the look for today. Let's pick a fragrance and let's get out of here because my photographer, Michaela, is waiting for me. Oh my God, I have all kinds of stuff in here. Right, guys just leaving the go share show it's still my favorite show because everything is so wearable and they really kind of take their cues from trends and what people are already wearing there was a sheer like golden yellow dress that was beautiful i love all of their denim oversized denim still in and um, with a nice pointy toed flat black heel lots of blazers with cutouts also suits lots of different suits and different textures whether that's satin silk cotton um and also different takes on a suit there was one suit that had like a cotton fabric maybe and then like a sheer like organza um in the middle with a panel of the pant and then just like playing with different fabrics with pant suits um, and also lots of cutouts on the oversized blazers in different fun ways. The last outfit was <laughs> a quintessential Parisian outfit. White t-shirt, oversized pair of jeans, a full length black trench with sharp shoulders all the way down to the floor and a black pointy toed heel. And I wanna recreate that outfit. I'm on the hunt now for a floor length uh, trench coat in black I have to have one so we'll look around and see if I can find one today I am heading to Chez Prune for lunch my favorite place super affordable right on the canal Saint Martin 
and uh yeah again my favorite show they did have quite a bit of sequins in black as well and just lots of black pieces so black is the new black y'all just so you know all right but i really enjoyed the show Alright loves, back in my room, um, I went over to Canal St. Martin and had lunch at Chez Prune, my favorite restaurant. You guys, all of that food was only like 20 euros. I always get the fish when I go. Anything they create is delicious. Um, the menu changes every day um, because in the mornings they go to the market, they see what they can get and then they create a menu based on what they buy at the market that day. And they're only serving food every day from 12 to three. So I have to like make sure I squeeze it in because it's my favorite restaurant. So good, it's local. Um, yeah, everything is delicious and nutritious. I've honestly been starving since I've been in Paris and I've been trying to get this shape room. Um, afterward, I went to Thanks God I'm VIP, which is a vintage uh, store. Here in Paris, it's maybe like a five minute walk from uh, Chez Prune. And I love that everything is color coordinated. They have a lot of things in there from like the 80s, 70s, early 90s. Um, yeah, and it's all color coordinated and great. I feel like the prices there are really good. Um, you can find things for under 60 euros, uh, under 50 euros. They have really incredible coats. The coats are a little more expensive, of course, but I really like that place. I tried on a few things, but I didn't leave with anything. Uh, so now I'm just back in the room at Alfred Sommier. I think I'm just going to chill for a bit and try to upload the first videos for uh, the first Paris Fashion Week vlog. I ended it yesterday and started a new one today. And then later on today, we're gonna go to the Kith party. I'm meeting up with my girl, Mona, um, Simone, and we are gonna go together. I, she was actually in a vlog before I met her in Miami. I was on my way into uh, Soho House, Miami, and she was coming out and then I put her in the video and we've kind of been following each other on Instagram ever since and she's here. So yeah, we're gonna have a drink down at the bar here at the hotel and then we're gonna head to the party together. So, should be fun. Everyone loved my look today. I feel like so accomplished when I put these outfits together because I'm really trying to do a mix of luxury, of like vintage sometimes, and of course like new end pieces uh, from high street places like Boohoo. I've worn Boohoo since I've been here in Paris. I've worn and other stories. Um, and lots of old pieces too that I've had for years. So just reworking my own wardrobe with a few new end pieces. So I hope you guys are enjoying that and getting some inspiration. All right, I will check back in uh, this evening before we head to the Kith party. Hey y'all. So I quickly went to Prince Tom and I bought a skirt from Awake Mode. I'll probably show it to you guys eventually in this video because I think I'm gonna wear it. But I changed into another outfit for the Kith party. Y'all know Kith is very young, very street, very edgy. So I just went with a super chill look. <sighs> but I ordered some KFC. Now look, I know KFC isn't the best. I probably shouldn't be eating fried things. But I am the skinniest I've ever been. I'm trying to gain some weight. And uh, KFC in other countries is delicious. I ordered the eight piece hot wings. Y'all, so good. And then I got a fish sandwich. So <laughs> we're gonna eat this. And I did Uber it to my hotel. Yes, I did. I have no shame. Um, the hotel does have a um, room service but there's no chicken on the room service how how cute is this package i'm gonna try not and get oil all over my clothes but my girl simone is heading over 
check her out on instagram she has incredible style like uh her style blows me away um she's headed over we're gonna have a few drinks downstairs at the bar um and then we're gonna head to the kids party i don't know if we're gonna stay long but it'll be nice to just catch up with her oh my god Ooh. Ooh, I got a barbecue sauce. Mm. Okay. I'm not gonna make y'all watch me eat, but KFC in Paris, delicious. Also, the KFC in Barbados, that slaps too. It's just in the US that it's not that good. Mm. But let me eat this. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm, okay all right guys it's gonna light up there we go so i'm heading downstairs to the bar at the hotel but i just wanted to quickly show you my look um this skirt is like a little padded skirt this is from moschino i believe i've had it for such a long time but it has fun little detailing the top is a t-shirt from a black owned business based out of Brooklyn wearing my YSL teddy jacket in a size 44 and then I went with these boots uh Vanetta Carter and Timbaland also I'm gonna be wearing this Riri on my lip sorry I'm using my light because it's a little dark every day it's incredible the earrings are Swarovski in yellow Hopefully I don't have to stand outside long because it's freezing in Paris, but I just wanted to do a very chill look for this event. All right, let's spray on a little Eccentric Molecule 01. And let's go party. Let's go. I don't know why that light is actually not too bad.
Good morning, loves. So last night we went to a super fun event with Kith. Um, and yeah, we had a great time, Simone and I. If you haven't checked her out on Instagram, definitely check her out. She is Monified on Instagram. She's a stylist. Um, she works between the States and abroad. So yeah, I actually met her in Miami. We had a really great time last night. We had drinks here at the hotel. Then we went to the Kith party. Um, so I woke up bright and early today, had breakfast, and now I just got myself together. I'm gonna go do a little sightseeing. Today is very chill. I only have one show. It's a big show, but it's later on tonight. So I'm gonna go and head to H&M. They just dropped a new studio collection online and I wanna see if they have anything in store. So I'm gonna head to Osman Boulevard right next to Galleries Lafayette and check out that H&M and see if they have any pieces. And then I'm gonna head over to Champs-Élysées. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> um, and I wanna take a stroll down Avenue Montaigne um, where all of the luxury stores are over there. So yeah, my outfit of the day. Let me sit you guys on the tripod and show you. I'm wearing a lot of the same things over and over just to show you guys how I'm styling things differently and how you can rework things in your wardrobe. Uh, so yeah, let's get into my OOTD. All right guys, outfit of the day. I am wearing this denim jacket. I am in back in the skims one piece, um, cat suit and a medium, the Celine high top sneakers um, and this hat is super old it's like a Baker and Boy hat from H&M very very affordable um, I'll link some of these down below because they do have them at Amazon so yeah that's the look for shopping today and sightseeing um, very happy to have a free day today's fragrance by Rado follow that freak I might grab a Sunny, let's see. Should we go with my new Prada sunglasses that I got from Sunglass Hut? Or is it doing too much? I feel like it's doing too much. Fresh face today, let's go. So I spent the morning walking all around Paris, walking around the Madeleine area. I walked over to Champs-Élysées, to um, Avenue Montagne. I went over by Labanu, um, into all of the shops. I did buy one thing from Eero, which I'll show you guys later. But today was just a leisurely chill day. Um, but I came back, rested a bit, and now I'm ready for the Alessandra Rich show. I do have a seat, so I'm not really worried about being late. 
um let me show you my outfit of the day the face is my everyday face um the fenty glass bomb in the color riri i love it i've been wearing it every day my ysl earrings put my ponytail back on this sweater is by ronnie kobo it's an open back sweater um i wore it last <laughs> fashion week like i love this sweater it's my favorite uh, and now we are back in my Rick Owens sequin skirt. I wore it to dinner the last time I was in Paris. I um, want to wear it to a show though. And then just my Jill Sonder boots. I'm going to show you the full look. Let me throw you on the tripod. All right. I hope you're able to see me pretty well. I have my little Amazon light. But here is the full look. Ronnie Kobo open back sweater. I wore it last time. Uh, sequin Rick Owen skirt. I'm trying to get my cost per wear out of this skirt, so I'm gonna wear it as much as possible. Jill Sander white boots, white Dior bag. Tonight's fragrance. We're gonna do Molecule, um, Eccentric Molecule 01. And I think we're gonna mix it with a little bit of Ball That Freak from Byredo. All right, let's go. So we are back from Alessandra Rich and it was such a good show. It's the first time I've gone to one of her shows. Everything was very lacy, risque, lots of sheer pieces, um, lots of lingerie, um, lots of tweed pieces, little mini skirts, uh, like pussy bow dresses as well, like that kind of style. 
um yeah i really enjoyed it there was something for everyone i really love like the leather pieces the long leather red trench coat the long leather black trench coat so for fall winter 23 trench coats and i'm talking trench coats that go all the way to the floor sweeping trench coats lots of little lacy pieces whether that's lace pants lace tops lace is definitely in for fall uh 23 and i really enjoyed the show i cannot believe it <laughs> um that i had a front row seat at this that show there were so many people that attended that show that i admire um jamie z was there she looked incredible of course she was dressed by the brand um i saw tamara uh i saw my girl tamu we actually had to have a little catch up because we haven't we didn't get to see each other in new york so it was really nice to see her here and we chatted for a bit tamu mcpherson she's incredible um i love her <laughs> uh who else there were so many people uh it was just a really great show and it was nice to see everyone um enjoying that show as well um there is a uh i think i went live for that show so make sure you're following me on instagram usually when i try and do fashion week especially if i'm front row i try and do um, a live so you guys can catch it in real time uh so yeah it was so great i'm back in my room man like my makeup looks so good like i almost want to like go to dinner i'm gonna see what the plans are for tonight i just spent like 20 minutes taking my own photos of this outfit in the stairwell with my iphone and a tripod <laughs> in fact most of my outfits from paris fashion week i just photographed them on my own with my iphone um and sometimes it works out well like you don't always need you know uh professional photos in fact my iphone photos always do better Anywho, I am going to see what Karen's doing, see if anyone wants to have dinner tonight. Uh, but I will definitely check in with you guys tomorrow. So far, such a calm day. Tomorrow we have quite a bit, uh, quite a few shows and presentations, so we're going to hit the ground running. But such a calm night. I wonder if the Eiffel Tower is sparkling. Let's go take a look. Good morning everyone um today i'm all dressed and ready to go for a little walk i would definitely love to go to the louvre and uh, palais royale uh just to check it out so i have some free time this morning so that's what we're gonna do and then we will head to the rocha uh presentation uh which should be really cool um i'm wearing this h&m hat acne blazer this zara turtleneck bodysuit which has really been getting me through the whole time i've been in paris i've worn it several times i'm wearing a medium i'll link it down below uh, my margella slash jeans and my tims in collaboration with vanetta carter these are actually very very comfortable even though they're heels i can walk around all day um i am makeup free until later on and yeah let's go explore perry
right guys back from a long day of walking sightseeing i went to the louvre did a little bit of shopping i got something from acne but i'll show you soon um what else i went to palais royale i went to this really great restaurant called villales so good i had a mediterranean salad and the best caramel cappuccino i ever had in my entire life don't worry every place i went will be down in the description box especially the restaurants so i got myself together i'm heading to the rochas presentation very very excited for this um i've been an, an admirer of the brand for so long i think i have one piece uh i cannot wait um and it's over by avenue montagna which i was at yesterday so yeah let me show you the look it's super plain since it's just a presentation it's not a show i can take my time i can go through the pieces and show you um but i'm again in this h m hat did a super plain face rihanna glass bomb lip and riri my bottega drop earrings i must admit they drop maybe that's why they're called drop earrings because they fall out of my ears and they have dented all up both of them and they are very expensive and i don't appreciate that I feel like I need to change the earring backs. The earring backs are too like big, the ones that come with them. Um, I have on my acne blazer. I love this thing. Let me put you guys on the tripod so you can get the full look. Um, and then we're out of here. Ooh, y'all, I've been working hard. Have to unscrew this. I just did my outfit of the day. A lot of these photos that are on the gram, I took them myself. Um, my photographer is not with me every day, only days that like she kind of has shows. And then I just been winging it on my own. Okay, my Uber is almost here. Let me show you the full look. Okay, I hope you can see me well. I'm a little backlit. H&M hat, Bottega drop earrings in the largest size in silver. I do love them. I just had to change out the backs so they stopped falling out of my ears and denting up. Like this is too much to be denting up. Um, acne blazer um this dress is from zara actually let me move you guys okay better this dress is from zara you would have seen it in a recent haul sorry i'm a little backlit it's a size medium just very plain for a presentation the boots tamara melon you've already seen this acne blazer a ton that's the look I'm gonna carry my celine pillow bag and then anishio paragon fragrance we're just being super parisian chic today i want to make connections and talk to the brand and the pr so that i'm invited from now on so yeah got my phone and uh what what's happening here oh one minute away perfect all right let's go check out this presentation
so we are back from the Rochas presentation and it was so beautiful it's very very feminine um lots of like embroidered pieces made of very like thick fabric i love the outerwear um there was a beautiful like snake print thin kind of shimmery coat also a lot of the pieces had some kind of shimmer whether that was the shoes with like sequins embroidered with sequins and shine or shirts that were interwoven with bits of like gold fabric so everything was shimmery shimmer is still in there was also this beautiful like um two-piece like almost patent leather suit with a jacket and a matching pencil skirt love that all of the booties were really pointy toed very feminine and sleek um there was this all white look that i really loved as well the the tailoring on these pieces exquisite i really enjoyed the show loved how they just it was a big open room and the models just kind of circulated through um i saw a ton of my friends there um i saw coco and her sister um and it was just a really beautiful presentation um afterwards i went ahead and popped into versace tried on some shoes and now i am back here i want to go meet janae and the Yusuf Sisters at Galleries Lafayette, which is right around the corner from here. That's why it's such a great place to stay. It's so central to everything within walking distance to Chanel, Rue Cambon, within walking distance to Hermes, um, all the shops, Zara, Galleries Lafayette, everything is super close. So I'm gonna change out of this dress. I'm gonna pop on my Skims bodysuit since it's super easy. It does have a zipper in the back. A lot of you were like, oh, how do you travel in this? It has a zipper, so it's very easy to just unzip and pull down. You don't have to take the whole thing off in order to use the bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to quickly change and meet them. We're going to do a little shopping and then I don't know what is in store for the evening. All right, right back in my Skims bodysuit. Celine sneakers, keep it on this coat. My trusty and other story, no american apparel scarf and we are ready to go do some shopping with the girls
good morning everyone it's a new day in paris it's a gloomy one but we're in paris so we are super excited let me sit you guys down here so we can chat so this morning i just had breakfast here at alfred sommier hotel this hotel is it's everything i absolutely love it um but today is autolinger day i'm so excited um i believe i discovered this brand two years ago and I've been hooked ever since. They are a super edgy brand. I love their shoes. I love their bags. Um, their clothes are very like futuristic and fun. Um, so I'm gonna show you my look. I went for an edgier eye makeup look today because it's Autolinger. Um, let me show you the full look. I'm back in this blazer because it's freezing today again in Paris. And then we are out of here today is my last full day in Paris and I must say that I really really enjoyed this trip um, I think it was a lot more chill I was able to relax a bit more so I'm definitely going to be more cognizant of that for future fashion weeks and just make sure I'm putting in like scheduling time to just chill relax and do nothing even on like <laughs> vacation um, this is definitely not vacation this is work but still, I definitely had downtime, time to just chill with my girls, to meet up with friends, um, and to just relax, sit on the canal, do nothing, and just bask in the fact that I'm here, like a place that I love and I was able to come here and do this. That is not lost on me. And thank you guys so much for all the love of my content. You all have just been writing for me. <laughs> and I appreciate it. I read every comment, every DM. Um, every comment on my Instagram post and you all are incredible. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, without it, I couldn't be here living out like my dreams. All right, so let me show you the full look and then we're heading to Autolinger. I can't believe it, I'm so excited. Okay, so here is the full look for Autolinger. I went for a pop of color. I'm wearing this Dries Van Noten uh, like jersey sweatshirt skirt i have this same skirt that i wore last season in a denim like a blue and white denim there are slits in the front and the back i got this on sale at essence so if it's still available i will link it i love it because it's super super long now i love the drawstring and the pockets this top from zara has come in so clutch during this trip i've worn it at some point almost every day even if it's just to chill it's very chic because of these cutouts. It comes in like three colors. I have it in white, I have it in a steel gray. I'm wearing a medium, it is a bodysuit, super fun. Again, we are back in this acne blazer, which I get so many compliments on this, I love them. The earrings, they are Simon Miller, so good. The lip, Riri, a uh, glass bomb. Uh, the shoes, another purchase that you would have seen in my packing for Paris video. These are Jean Vito Rossi. They're like stretchy, almost like a little spandex heel, but oh, it's the heel for me. Uh, accessories. These are new in Prada. I got them at Sunglass Hut at Galleries Lafayette. The bag, of course, Autolinger. Had to bust her out. I love the color combo, it's very edgy. It's giving very Autolinger. Um, I think it's a good look. All right guys, let's go to the show.
We're just leaving Autolinger, which was really, really cool. Of course, they always have these very funky, unique pieces. Um, they did a lot of like shiny material, um, a lot of reflective materials, um, some patent leather pieces. I noticed a lot of patent leather puffy coats, um, patent leather puffy joggers mixed with like a stretchy knit for the pants which was really cool lots of wedges wedge boots wedge sandals um in different fabrics i saw like a beautiful pink uh um like sateen fabric boot with a wedge very cute went all the way up the leg love those lots of white pieces too i haven't seen them do a lot of white but quite a few bits of white dresses white coats white pants i believe um of course they're known for their knits knit dresses with different cutouts and designs it was a really really cool show uh and i enjoyed it and uh I screenshot when I took photos of a few pieces that I'm definitely going to be looking out for for fall winter 23 so now we're just heading back to the hotel I actually need to go uh, back to Galleries Lafayette and do the VAT refund which is really integral <laughs> I have to do that I think you have two to three days to do it in store at Printemps and Galleries Lafayette which is great you just go downstairs it's super quick maybe I'll take you guys along for the process so you know how to do it it's very very easy they give you um, a receipt in store anywhere if you buy anything in those two department stores then you just either go downstairs or upstairs depending on the store um, and you just scan everything it's very easy but you always need your passport they won't accept a picture at Gallery Lafayette or Printon so I'll show you how to do it it's really easy so I need to do that because I'm leaving tomorrow but I do have one more show and an event this evening and then we're closing out the vlog but if you're enjoying it give a girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell too so I'll check back in when we are heading to the next show
right loves i'm back in the room so i took you to galleries lafayette where i went to the little little room on the first floor to do the tax refund and it's the same in printong there's like a room it has little machines all you need is your passport you have to have your physical passport um your card if you want the money put on your card or however you paid for the merchandise um and then what else what else what else Oh, the receipt from the store. And then you just go up to the little kiosk. You put in your address. Um, mine was already in there because I've already done this before. Like the day I got here, I went shopping and they put me in the system. So I just had to continue on through. Scan my passport. Right after I scanned my passport, I chose which way I wanted to be paid. Whether I wanted the money put back on my card. Whether I wanted it in cash or i can't remember the other way yeah so i always just put it back on my card and it shows you the percentages of that as well um and yeah i put my card in the machine it puts the money right back on my card and then prints me out the papers that i need to scan at the airport um and as soon as i get to the airport i have all of my papers i just scan them all and then I go sometimes they will check you if you do you just have to show them the merchandise that you bought um so it's good to put all of the things that you bought in one place like in one suitcase um so you don't have to go rifling through i usually put all of my things at the top like right at the top of a suitcase just in case um someone needs to see anything um and so that's also why you probably shouldn't pop the tags on anything um even if you wear it, just leave the tags on until you get to the airport. And also just making sure you pack it separate. But other than that, you hardly ever get checked. At least I've never gotten checked. But just to be sure, I always put everything in a separate suitcase. Um, where it's easy access. So yeah, that was super simple. After that, I was starving. So I went over to Galleries Lafayette Gourmet, which is right across the street. They have tons of like bakeries, restaurants in there. Um, and I bought a ton, and I do mean a ton, of snacks. I think I got a beignet, I got a brioche, I got a cinnamon roll, some uh, macaroons. Um, yeah, delicious. So what I'm going to do now, I don't even know. I have one more show, but I don't think I'm going to make it because it's already like 420. And the traffic here is so bad. Um, and then I also need to pack. <laughs> because I'm leaving out first thing in the morning and I also need to film a what I bought in Paris because I need to do that right away um I won't have time to do it when I get back I don't think and then I have to get ready to go to a cocktail party tonight and all of that I can't do if I go to this show so yeah I'm gonna clean up I'm gonna start packing um get my outfit together for tonight's event and upload this video i'm uploading the first paris fashion week vlog it has about 30 minutes left hopefully i can do the description box and get it up and pack and be ready for this event tonight in time but it's my last day in paris so i'm just taking it easy like it's been such an incredible trip remember every place i've been will be in the description box i've been getting a few questions on instagram like oh where did you go where was this place what was this restaurant everything will be in the description box and i will probably do an updated travel blog post on my website fashion steel nyc as well you just go to that that website go to the travel section there's guides for literally every place i've ever been all right let's get this video up for you guys and pack because look at this place it's 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 giving mess by the way i love this little room here but like it's giving it's giving mess i wish you guys could see the bathroom like i can't even show it to you it's well not that bathroom my makeup is like everywhere there's it's it's a mess <laughs> oh if you need a room tour check out the first paris fashion week vlog everything about alfred sommier is there all right I'll check back in tonight, guys. All right, loves. It is a few hours later, and I'm all packed, mostly packed. I brought two huge, like, full-size cow pack lug luggage and a carry-on, um, and everything is packed nicely. I've also been working on getting the vlog up. I don't think it's going to go up today. <laughs> we'll see. I just need to do the description box, but I know that's going to take me a few hours, and depending on how long this event lasts, 
I don't know. So we'll see. Um, let me show you my look. Regular face from earlier today. Riri lip. YSL Comet earrings and gold. They're clip-ons. Super fun. The dress is Georgia Harding. You guys remember I got this dress in from them. It's beautiful. I think this is the perfect occasion to wear it. Um, and the shoes, I just went with my balloon sandals from Loewe. I may switch to my Jean Vito Rossi uh, thigh-high black boots. We'll see. I'm going to throw over my acne coat because it is freezing. But hopefully we won't be outside long. Um, we'll just be right in the car to the venue. The bag, you've seen this previously from uh, Marshalls when I worked with them. Super cute little bag, matches the shoes. And that is the look. I'll turn you guys to the side so you can see the full look. All right, full look for the night. Georgia Harding dress, Loewe sandals, my chain to boots. Oh, I love this dress. I will link it down below. It's so stunning. I think it's the perfect occasion. Okay. guys just leaving the Neiman Marcus Awards party they gave JW Anderson a an award and a Brunello Cuccinelli as well there's an echo sorry but that's it that's a wrap on Paris Fashion Week my bags are packed and I'm leaving in the morning but thank you guys so much for watching thumbs up subscribe we are heading back to New York see you there